Hey guys, so by now you probably are noticing my hair. Like anybody speaks to me unless Oh my god. I almost forgot to tell you. What? I got bangs. Yes, I got bangs. Um if you're new to the channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, hi, I welcome you. If you go back and watch some of my previous videos, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I got a haircut on Friday and I originally wasn't supposed to get these kinds of bangs. I was supposed to get long bangs, but you know, stuff happens. It's okay. It's just hair, you know? But I hope that it looks okay on camera. I hope you're still able to see my eyes, you know? And I don't do anything to my eyebrows at all. So that isn't even a part of my makeup routine, so it's not even that big of a deal that you can't see my brows because I don't do anything to them. So I already have on my foundation, concealer, contour, and setting powder, so let's just get into the eyes and prime them. I am going to be using this NYX Professional Makeup Eyeshadow Base in the color Skin. And I'm just going to be taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. to put it on my lid. <laughs> okay, so I'm jumping the gun so much. I'm like skipping way ahead. I'm already putting on my eyeshadow primer when I haven't even told you the look that we're doing today but obviously you already know or else you went to click on this video we are doing a life-size inspired makeup tutorial today you know life-size they just came out with the second movie like 13 years later life-size was a movie that I grew up with when I was really little it starred Tyra Banks and Lindsay Lohan and basically Lindsay Lohan she's really young she loses her mom because her mom dies and she's gifted uh, Eve, you know, an Eve doll for her birthday, and Eve is Tyra Banks, and you know, she buys the, she like steals this book from a bookstore, and it brings the doll back to life, and she's, <laughs> she was actually trying to bring her mom back to life instead of the doll, and I just want to do a look inspired by Tyra Banks' Eve doll, just because the second movie came out, I think about a month ago. And I'm really excited to watch it. I still haven't watched it. I know nothing about it. But I'm going to be doing a red and gold kind of look because those are the vibes. Those are the That's the color scheme that I get from Eve. And especially when we first get introduced to her, when she comes to life, she's wearing this red dress. You know, if you say it's orange, maybe it's orange. Maybe my memory is just a little hazy. Maybe I'm colorblind. My bad. I'm colorblind. You what? I don't know, but I'm just going to be using red and gold because those are the colors that I associate with Eve besides pink. So let's just hop on into it. Obviously, I already have because I've already put on eyeshadow primer. First, we are going to be taking this brush and going in to the Morphe James Charles palette because, you know, I love this palette. It is so nice. So we're going to be going into this color right here and it is called Rusted. And we're just gonna be putting that in the crease as a transition shade. Way to go, Elizabeth. Great transition shade. Real bright. <laughs> This is honestly a little hard for me with my bangs because I cannot really see because it casts a shadow. And now I'm going to be going in with the even more intense red color and it's called You're Kidding, which is very appropriate, James, I must say. And we're just going to be putting that on the outer part. I watched one of Tati's videos today, Tati Westbrook. She's amazing. I'll have her channel linked in the description down below. But um, I watched one of her videos today and she did a red eye look. And she said that uh, she didn't really like using red because she felt it made her look like a vampire. I don't know. I thought she looked good. I thought she looked pretty. But you do you, Tati. Ever since I got these bangs like five days ago, I want to say it's been five days now, 
I have had like such a crazy like emotional break I don't want to say breakdown but ride because one second I feel like a young Kris Jenner the next second I feel like a Disney princess with these bangs and then the next second I feel like Camila Cabello and then I feel like Will Byers so so now I want to go in with a darker color so I think we're going to be taking the shade boutique and putting that a little bit on the outer corner just to add a little bit of depth I'm just over here winging it I'm over here improvising I honestly never try these looks in advance I never blend these colors in advance it's always on the spot I'm winging it and I'm just crossing my fingers that it turns out okay and it looks pretty and most of the time it does and when it doesn't huh? nobody's perfect you know like I remember a few days ago Lauren DIY she uploaded well not a few days ago it's been a while but she uploaded a video with like Christmas hacks well not hacks but Christmas DIYs and you know not all of them were a success but she uploaded it anyway she kept her cool and you know not everyone is super perfect yeah I think that looks pretty I like the way it's coming out so far for me just winging it so now I'm gonna be taking this brush and I'm gonna be going into the color shook so I'm just gonna be taking that and putting it right here on the inner part for some reason I got a vision not well not a vision I ain't raven smell <laughs> for some reason I just thought of flame princess from adventure time when I said fire like ooh, pretty I should do that I should do a makeup look like that like flame princess and then bubblegum princess and Marceline I know she's not a princess but she's my favorite character I kind of feel like David Bowie right now and when I say David Bowie you know you know what look I'm talking about I'm talking about like the look where he has a lightning bolt on his face and he's in the red wig I feel like that right now so I'm gonna be taking the first color that we used rusted on this tiny little brush right here and putting that on under our eye And I'm going to be taking Shook, which is that metallic-y color that we put right here on our inner corner. I'm putting it on our inner lower lash line. And just connecting the two. I feel like I look like someone from uh, 28 Days Later. Ooh, I feel like one of the zombies. And I'm going to be taking this Farah brush in 35E blending all of these colors together just a little more now here comes the fun part we are going to be taking this wet n wild color icon glitter and brass and it's more of a gold we're going to be taking that on a flat brush and I know I look really scary right now but it's not how you start it's how you finish so we're putting that on the very center of our eye. Yeah, that's just a little bit of glitter, but we're gonna go a little bit more insane and extra because it's Eve. And we're going to be using the color Couture Loose Glitter in the, sh in the color Gold. I feel like she's one of those actors that just don't really age, you know what I mean? Kind of like like how people talk about J.Lo, she gets better with age. I feel that's the same for Tyra. We're going to be taking this eye crayon in color couture and it looks like a gold. And we're just going to be putting that in our waterline. So now I'm going to be going in with the Jordana cat eyeliner, lining my eyes and I realized that this was a mistake because I should have done this before the glitter but it's okay we'll work with it now we are going to be taking this color couture glitter liner
we're just going to be lining the very top of the black liner. I'm going to put on a gold highlight. I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose, right here, right here. And I'm just going to be using my finger to blend it in. Now I'm going to be taking this angled eyeshadow brush, going into the color ring light, and just highlighting our brow bone. And it kind of cleans up the edges simultaneously too. And we're just going to be taking a little bit of that and putting it right in the center of our eyes, just to make it look, make our eyes look brighter and more awake. Now we are going to be taking this red shade, this red lipstick in color Couture. There we go. I'm going to put on some mascara and lashes off camera and I'll see you in one second. Okay guys, so I'm back from putting on my mascara and lashes. I hope you like the final look. As you can see, I took off my lip product and I put on a more natural, neutral kind of lip color and I'm using the Lolita Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all like the look. Remember, you're all strong, articulate, independent individuals and I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!